Okay, so after you finish typing omit here, yes, um, so what you do next is go and escape uh, um, and save it, of course, and uh, the next thing what you do is just doing the refinement. And you can clearly see that uh, it's helped us to uh, decrease somewhat our goof. Um, it's decreased somewhat of our factor, decreased somewhat our pixel. So it doesn't help us that much. The next step, what you can do, you can even further improve your structure by playing, continuing playing with weight theme. And in this case, you go back to your ins file and correct the 005 to 003. And doing Excel again, Excel deals. Well, if you look now, it's again further decrease our R factor. It's definitely make our RW2 below uh, 10, which is quite nice. I like it below 10. But it's definitely increase our goof value. So the next step it would be correct our goof value. So let's do that. And we correct in it in ins file with uh, help of the second coefficient. Um, let's make it 0 0.9. Let's see what happens. So let's do Excel deals. Okay, uh, you see we overshoot it, so our goof become 0 0.983. So let's fix it. Uh, so let's say 0 0.7. Let's see what happens. So you see, with weight theme, you just pretty much need to play it all the time. A uh, little bit more, I would like a little bit more. Let's try 0 0.8. Okay, well, right now we have a really nice goof, and our RW2 went below 9%, and our R1 is around 4 uh, percent, uh, 4%, so we good. Um, let's check LST file uh, on the bad reflections and you can clearly see we still have like this one bad reflection. So, um, in fact, I can even delete it till that time. Yeah, why not delete several more bad reflections? It's supposed to help us. So again, control C escape, go to your ins file with a 4, see the free line below the amids, Control v paste it, go to selected area with a cursor, press alt arrow down, deselect it and go to the top line of the values, go alt arrow down all the time keeping alt pressed and then still keep alt pressed and then go to the right and select uh, those values, delete them, shift delete and then type on it, oh I prefer, sometimes I like to do also with alt I select those things, control C and control V here, it saves you time alt, this arrow down to deselect it escape, save and do Excel again see what happens. And it's not really help us, it's little bit decrease our goof, little bit again decrease our WR2, make our R1 below uh, 4%, so it's good. Um, but in all honesty it didn't done much. Uh, what you need to check, let's do Ctrl O, go to C file, go down and make sure that your uh, uh, completeness is still 99% so you don't go below 97% because if you go below 97% you'll have uh, bad comments from your reviewers and you have errors in your check sieve. okay so okay so we done working uh, we done working with our uh, goof uh, we done working with our um, 
uh, we done working with uh, deleting a bad reflection so we pretty much ready we finalize our structure so right now we need to actually fill our C file yes well actually we didn't finalize it because you can see the maximum shift is still not zero so how we can correct that well you can correct it by a lot of different ways um, one of the easiest ways is copy res into ins or you can open your res with xp and again type look at your structure press file and uh, put it to ins well let's do it with second way because uh, copy res to ins we can discuss in second structure deals xp deals let's look on our structure again and uh, right now I corrected my video so maybe it's uh, no it didn't want to correct didn't correct it itself well I don't know why uh, anyway uh, escape skill dollar Q let's look on our structure one more time our structure look nice we are happy and proud of ourselves so let's say file deals enter quit and let's do Excel again control O um okay and you can see our shifts become zero so that's what you want to see so you actually uh, don't have any movements during refinement so you fine okay another way to do it uh yeah, what we can do is copy our res into ins our res file and ins file you can see it's res and this is ins they look alike so if you copy res into ins you do, do, didn't change anything you just you are putting your results as your initial file to do so uh, in uh, farm manager you can see here is f5 or copy so you press f5 and what I usually do you uh, I prefer you, you can type the name of file or you can type star and you can see it's already there dot ins so what you mean it means it's copy this file into the file with the same name but different extension um, and if you press enter say asking you do you want to override deal sense you say yes and uh, we copy our res into ins okay so now how I told you let's finalize our C file to do so we just need to put several comments first comment what you need to put it's your size comment size it will correspond to the size of your crystal according to my paper the crystal size free crystal size dimension was 0 0.5 0 0.3 0. Uh, to yeah something like that so it was a really nice prism so next thing what you need to do is put two more comments here you put in bond sorry bond dollar h means it will put in the c file table of uh, uh, bonds with all your uh, uh, hydrogens and this is requirement by Euchre you must to have it another thing it's optional but sometimes it's useful it's conf conf means uh, it will put and save the table of uh, torsion angles which is might be useful if you describe in your crystal structure so you are done with that say escape save and repeat your Excel Only repeat your Excel again. Our shifts are close to zero. Goof, it's very good. Our factor is good, so very nice. Okay, Control O, go to your C file. Okay, and right now you can see uh, here is the top. Yes, it's already put uh, the temperature, and I guess I'm wrong with my temperature. I've got. Oh, 116 
uh, degrees uh, Kelvin. Uh, here, for some reason, uh, in INS file you put in temperature in Kelvin, how I told. Uh, and um, here uh, in INS file you put in your temperature in in this file you put in temperature in Celsius and uh, C file it's automatically translated to the Kelvin well and obviously I'm wrong if I did it 120 Kelvin it should be temperature should be minus 153 not minus 157 escape save let's repeat the refinement so let's check our sieve you can see here is our formula um, here is our temperature now it's correct and you can see here is our size of the crystal and if you go down here is a bond length table with hydrogens this is bond dollar H and this is uh, torsion angles um, oh no this is angles yeah and this is torsion angles you can see four atoms okay so you pretty much finish with your structure refinement so you done with that now you actually need to fill up the C file